Welcome to TGD in context. Context is king. Context matters. The power, they, they want blood sacrifice. That is the reason other members will die. They can be a stampede in that hall. They can be a stampede in that crusade. But life has to be lost in that particular environment. Others who are close and who've got, let's say, a, a particular gift. You can be a musician who's been loved by people in that church. And you are close to the pastor. As time goes on, the musician can have an accident. So they cause some of the members to experience uh, untimely death. Because those will be part of the sacrifice that these powers are looking for. I did not go only to Nigeria. I also went to Congo. I just want to begin by saying we have two forces. The one represents evil and the other one represents righteousness. The prince of unrighteousness or the prince of evil is the devil himself. Then we have the other force which is all about righteousness. And the prince of righteousness is the son of the living God, the Messiah or the Most High God. But here's the thing that I just want to begin with. If you look at Africa, Africa is the most spiritual place. And many people should understand that if you come from other countries or if you come from other continents, you have to know and understand very well that Africa is the most spiritual place. So in order to live in Africa, you must be rooted. Your relationship with God Almighty has to be rooted. And here is the thing that I just want to talk about. Uh, we, we celebrate many pastors. We celebrate these pastors uh, who are running mega churches and so forth and so forth. But in most cases, we don't know where they get their powers. But because we believe that these people are men of God, uh, we think that they get everything that they have from God Almighty. It seems as if all these powers are from God Almighty. But in most uh, cases, it's not like that at all. It's all about sacrifices. But where does this thing start? It starts from the love of money. You have to remember that the king of unrighteousness, which is the devil, his aim is to still kill and destroy. So he uses the material things to destroy. He uses uh, certain things, things that are practical to destroy. So now he makes uh, many people to believe that in order for you to be regarded as someone who is... Uh, who has a relationship with God Almighty, then you must have a certain number of people who follow you. So many pastors and many people who call themselves men of God have been fooled by this thing that in order to prove that you have a relationship with God, you must have this followership. You must have 10,000 uh, 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 people who are following you. You must have like 10 branches all over the world or 10 branches of churches all over Africa. So if that thing is not happening and you feel like you are fasting and you are on fire for God, you are always like uh, doing the things of God, you are always reading your Bible, the scriptures and etc. and nothing is happening, then the devil will tempt you. The, de the devil will, will tempt you Then the devil will promise you all these things as he did with the Messiah. He put the Messiah on top of the mountain and said, if you can just bow down to me, you see all these things, they belong to me. If you can just bow down to me, I will give you everything. This is what the devil is doing with many of these, of these, of these pastors. So he promises them heaven and earth. He promises them material things. He promises them followership. Why? Because we don't want to follow God and we don't want people to follow God. Uh, we want people to follow us. Yes, uh, maybe in our minds we may think that we want people to follow God. But deep down spiritually, we want to be followed. We, we have this hunger uh, uh, to be followed, to be loved by people, to be praised by people. So as a result, you end up falling into the trap of the devil. It doesn't mean God cannot make uh, 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 people to follow you. 
<laughs> in other words, God does things according to according to His will. But in most uh, or the most important thing is that God wants everybody to follow Him. So now the weakness of man is that we don't want to divert the attention to God Almighty. That is why we end up like focusing now or turning into African spirituality. And this African spirituality is too deep, is divided into, uh, uh, into many, many categories. But I just want to talk about this evil spirituality. This evil spirituality, this is where the devil will tempt you and tell you that if you do one, two, three, if you can do these uh, sacrifices, then I will give you one, two, three. In other words, I will give you followership. I will give you money. I will give you popularity. I will give you all these things. That is why in most cases, people will end up like um, falling into, into a trap. Then you ask yourself that this person used to love God, but it seems as if now his lifestyle has changed, even though he praises God, but the lifestyle in general has changed. So that is why you have to um, analyze these pastors very well. You have to scrutinize these churches you attend very well, because most of these leaders are into these cults where they, where they had to sacrifice with uh, uh, certain things where they had to sacrifice with blood, where they had to sacrifice with their soul uh, and many other things. So this is where we need to begin. You have to understand that Africa is a spiritual place. Here in Africa, we only survive spiritually by trusting in the Almighty God. If you don't trust in the Almighty God and you still want to have a relationship with people, you still want to be uh, to engage in many things with people. Uh, you 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 have to be very very careful. Democratic Republic of Congo, where I was initiated and I saw what is called Mamba Muntu. That is a half crocodile and a half human being. And I saw it with my eyes. I was not drunk. I was not under any influence. I saw it, it came. We went to the river during the night. It was a full moon. The light that was there was from the moon. As we went in that river in an island called Kongolo. So we went in, into the water and they did some incantation. And after doing some incantation, this being, it came as you were in the water, you were able to see during the night, it's quiet. You are able to see some movement from a distance. The water was just splashing. There was a sound and it took my concentration. I saw it was coming. I did not know what it was, but they told me that they are going to call their God, which is half human being and half crocodile. This thing came with a very powerful speed. You know, if a, a person is swimming as a human being, you are able to know this one is a human being by the speed. But this one, it was an extreme speed. It was coming and it came behind me at my back. It helped me here. I'm talking something that I saw it. Now, I, I, I could sense that it, it was big. And the cloth and the hand that touched me here, it was not of a human being. It baptized me as in putting me in the water. And after that, it gave me something like an egg because... I could not look at it because I was afraid. It gave me something like an egg. Then I had to swallow the egg with the shell. Then from then, the man did some incantation. Then it went away. The way it was breathing, I, I could tell it is not a human being. And the hand, I could see this one. It was more of a lizard with nails. Now, after that episode, I had the encounter where I dreamt it was a vision, this one where I dreamt being underwater and being given instruction. So there is a physical manifestation that is also connected to dreams. You have to bear in mind that most of these pastors, they had to go through all these things because of money, because of followership. You have to understand that the reason behind this is the love of money, and the love of followership and the love of popularity. If you want to 
uh, strengthen your relationship with God or maintain your relationship with God and continue being obedient uh, in order to avoid all these things, you should never love popularity. And you should never love money. Yes, we need money because uh, uh, there's absolutely nothing we can do. But you, you have to make sure that you don't love money more than God. Because if you love money more than God, most definitely you are going to betray him. And you, you must not love all these things that will make the devil to strategically tempt you. This, this is where you need to be careful. So this is Pastor Ramabulana. So he went through all this. Why? It's because of followership. We want followership because you, you feel like you are not a true man of God if you don't have large followership. This is the strategy of the devil. Some people might say this is, this is not true. I believe him. <laughs> that is why I said Africa is one of the most spiritual places in the world if it's not the most spiritual place. And uh, uh, me personally, I was uh, initiated multiple times when I was when I was when I was when I was growing up. So there are some of these things that I just don't want to talk about. But I know what he's talking about uh, uh, very well. I've been in 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 in, in rivers. I've been in some of uh, uh, the, the similar places he's uh, he's talking about. So when a person has dreams, they are connected to the physical manifestation. So coming back to the uh, question of power, as I've said. These church leaders, uh, Commissioner Langa, they acquire different kinds of powers. The voodoo power, it's, it's one of the powers. And that is the reason why these days, in most of these mega churches, on their pulpits, you find that they have, they call it decoration, but it's not decoration. They put fruits. You know, the, when you worship voodoo, you can do your own research. They put fruit on the particular God. Where the God is, there must be those fruits as a sign of a sacrifice. So on this pulpit, they are very beautiful, but they are surrounded with fruits. So that is a sign to show and say, on that pulpit, it is an altar of a voodoo. Because fruits in the church has nothing to do with the church. So those fruits, they, they are a sign that we have sacrificed, we are giving you these fruits. And after the service, they can say, everyone come and pick up the apples. And people, they will go and pick up those apples, they start to eat. But they don't know that those fruits there, they have been sacrificed to the God. The other thing that I just want to talk about is that you have to analyze everything that is happening in a church you attend because there are many signs and decorations sometimes we think it's just a normal decoration when in reality that decoration means something is a symbol for something so you, you have to be aware of these pulpits because these pulpits are, to, are decorated in in different ways uh, in most cases, they, use, they will use a cross and they will decorate this cross in, in different ways. So that is why you need to be very, very careful. You, you, in, in other words, you, you have to like uh, inspect or analyze what these pastors are doing around the pulpit or the moment they come to church. You have to look at them. You have to see what, 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 what is happening because... I want to tell you that in most of these churches, these things are happening and many people are being fooled and many people are being led uh, astray because these people are worshipping are worshiping idols. So they will use different kinds of signs as if it's just a decoration. But when in reality, they are actually dedicating everything to their, to their gods. So it's very painful to go to a church and realize later that all along you've been worshipping a beast. You've been worshipping 
something else. Others, they even go to an extent of using what we call marine spirits, which is called the water spirit. Water spirit has a, a, a background where you can trace it also in the Bible. It comes a long way. Now, this water spirit, number one, the church where your church is, it must be next to the water. There must be a river next to the water where you are able to take people for what we call baptism. But this is not the same baptism that Jesus encountered. This is a baptism into an oak, into an oak hall. It's more of initiation. So they use the water or the river that is next to the water. Or they can even have a, a swimming pool in the church. If they have a swimming pool in the church, all members will have to via through that water. If they don't have a swimming pool in the church, they can make a, a service, a special service where the pastor will say, I'm coming to wash your feet. Out of the blue, the pastor says, I just, God spoke to me that I can wash your feet. And every member in the church will take off their shoes because this is a marine kingdom that wants to influence the church. So every member of the church has to via through that particular water. So the pastor will come and wash you. He will take his time. He's a busy man, but he has to make sure that he does that by himself with his own hands. You bath your feet. That is what we call the uh, marine powers. He's telling the truth. I remember when I was young, like maybe about uh, 13 years old, but even prior to that, I would go to the river multiple times and there are many things that are, I had to experience. But when I was around 13 years old, I remember there was a church that was starting in my area at that, at that time. I remember there were two uh, pastors in that particular church. The other one was a senior pastor and the other one was just a, a, a normal a normal pastor. So I remember them telling us that they had to go to the river. They had to visit the river in order for that church to have a strength because this was a newly formed church or a newly established church. So they had to go to uh, a, a river in order to make some sacrifices in order for the, for, the, for, for that particular church to, to be strong. I don't want to go into into uh, a lot of details about that but i understand everything about marine spirit uh, uh, very well very well and what they do is that in most cases they'll say we have to go to we have to go to the river for baptism we have to go to like maybe a swimming pool for baptism and etc so you have to be careful of all these churches who are, who are like uh next month is a baptism is a baptism date uh they have schedules maybe uh annual schedules that on this date you need to be uh, 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 very, very careful. I've been through a lot as well. And I'm telling you, all these things, all these spirits, when they come into your body, they will control you. They will, um, they will do terrible things in your, in your life. They will do terrible things in your, in your life. So you won't see progress at all. So most of the people who, 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 who might see the progress are those leaders because they are in control. They are in charge. So every sacrifice they do is for their own benefit. In other instances, they, they use what they call do as I say. In my instance, they gave me a small horn. It was called Ashe. It's a Nigerian name. It's called Ashe. Now, with that horn that they gave me, they said before I could talk, I had to wrap that uh, particular uh, uh, muti on my tongue before I go to the pulpit. So they, they collect a lot of, of powers. Sometimes they even bury uh, uh, life, 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 life cows, life animals in the church. So that uh, their church can remain as powerful as they want it to be. So attending such churches, it, it makes church members to be victims of this kind of powers. You go to one building, but you've got more than 20 powers and you are not aware. Yet you are the one shouting the name of Jesus while you have been possessed by many powers in that particular church. 
And with these powers, they work for one purpose, to bring the crowd. All they want is numbers. So they do anything that they can for these powers. It's all about the numbers. It's all about the figures. And it's all about money. Why the figures are so important is because the figures bring money. And then this money will empower them, will make them famous, will make them popular. So at the same time, they'll have to keep on renewing the contract they made with these water spirits, uh, voodoo, and so forth and so forth. And some people might say, why these people can't see that they are being fooled? This thing is more spiritual than you can just imagine. That is why I'm always worried when people praise uh, these pastors, when people go to these churches with excitement. You have, you have to understand that it's not just about attending that particular church. It's more spiritual than you can, than you can imagine. That is why you end up being addicted as if you're addicted to, to, uh, to drugs, as if you're addicted to something else. So this addiction is caused by something in a spiritual realm. That is why people should read their Bibles and trust in God Almighty. That is why most of... Um, uh, these uh, people who are attending these churches, they don't understand the scriptures at all. Why? Because in those churches, it's not about the scriptures. You should not understand the scriptures at all. But they are using these spirits to make people blind. 